Is this flight sim throttle the best you can get for the money? Do the features stack up? What's the build quality like? And how does it feel to fly? I'm gonna go through all of those things and more. So if you're considering buying this throttle, this might just be the review you need to get yourself off the fence. If you've seen my early review of the Honeycomb Alpha Yoke, you'll know I rate this quite highly and I'm happy to say this throttle quadrant by Honeycomb is at the same level in almost every single way. But it's the features that make it stand out from the rest of the pack. Although it's not all fine and dandy, there are a few little things I'd like to cover that I feel you should know before pulling the trigger. Let's go over it. Looks wise, this throttle matches the Bravo yoke. The shape is almost identical. They are both made from the same type of plastic, same finish and attention to detail and design. As you can see here, Honeycomb has left no stone unturned when it comes to making a visually beautiful product. The matte textures are simply stunning and set it apart from anything else in this price range. Now because the texture is a little bit of a dust trap, it can be difficult to get rid of it, but personally, I'm willing to put up with it for that feel and finish. The build quality is also excellent, much like the Bravo Yoke. The throttle quadrant feels very well built. This thing, I reckon, will last a long, long time. The buttons and switch panel both have a quality feel to them, in particular the autopilot buttons are very nice. They have a rubberized texture with a muted click and some nice backlighting. The control knobs are nice and clicky and take a fair amount of pressure to move so you won't be accidentally adjusting any of these. The trim wheel feels fair, but if you've watched my other video about the Honeycomb trim wheel upgrade, you'll know I find this original trim wheel a little lacking. Both sets of levers that come with the throttle are very well built and snap on easily and quickly, every time. A testament to the lean tolerances of the product build. Moving the levers is extremely smooth and can feel quite substantial, especially when you tighten up the tensioner on the side. It just really is so nice to use. Overall, this is very well built and certainly speaks volumes about the price you'll find yourself paying for it. It's a little bit more expensive than the others from Thrustmaster and Logitech, but they all belong in the same category and based on that, Honeycomb is streets ahead and it's built to last. What I love most about this throttle is the sheer amount of features they've managed to cram in here. I mean, this thing has full autopilot functions, a large trim wheel, two sets of interchangeable levers, GA and commercial, a knob to change the resistance of the levers, which works very, very well, a switch panel and an enunciator panel built in. It has a nice gear lever with a good clunk to it, which also syncs with the lights to let you know whether your gear is up or down. I'm not aware of any other throttle that has this many features, and all of these are extremely useful. It also has the option to bolt on Logitech flight panels and carries a very solid mounting plate, which will easily mount to any desk or sim rig. You can buy third-party levers for this, like the Cessna Citation levers from ProDesk Sim. I've reviewed these before, so check that out if you're interested. And there are many options to upgrade the throttle as you move forward with your flight sim journey. Honeycomb really thought about this and has done an amazing job to fit in which I think are the most useful features any committed flight simmer could ask for. So here are the things I love. The gear lever. It's got a little weight to it and a nice clunk. Very nice to use. The switch panel. Well, you could never have enough buttons and switches. The high-end finish and build quality. The included autopilot buttons. These are great with a stunning rubberized feel. The lever tensioner. Getting the right tension on the levers is different for everyone, and this solves that issue. It comes with some rubber covers, which are great for keeping dust, hair, or anything else that you might get in there while not using the levers. The price. I actually love the price. For everything you get, I think the price of this yoke is extremely good value. It has a sturdy clamp, which is needed for when you run that lever tensioner quite high. The clamp is easy to fit, straight to a desk or a sim cockpit. And the rotary dials on the autopilot are nice and tight. To make adjustments, you really have to turn them with intention. Onto the things that I would change. I'd love to see the autopilot buttons be a little larger. I'd love to see the autopilot select knob section being backlit. It would make such a difference. I would like the commercial levers to be a little larger in the hand. That's a bit of a reach from me, but I think it's valid. I'd love to see the GA trim wheel cover accessory included with the yoke. The GA trim wheel cover, in my opinion, makes the trim wheel much superior. It's amazing what a bit of silicon can do. It even gives the trim wheel a little bit more weight. It would have been great if there were some detents in the flaps axes. Maybe they haven't put this in to keep the axis as configurable as possible, 
but I think it's something it needs in my opinion. And I don't think it'd change anything else. So who is this throttle for? I think this throttle is for the flight simmer with a little more experience, which will really make use of the autopilot and all the lever variations. Or the newbie with a few extra bucks in their pocket. Like the honeycomb yoke, this throttle is extremely well built and finished and anyone who appreciates build quality will love it at this price. As far as I'm concerned, there are no other flight throttles that can compete in this price bracket that have the same build quality. If you think you will use the autopilot and extra switches, then you will not be disappointed here. If you're only after some levers and nothing else, I think you'd want to look at Logitech's budget offering. While great value, just know that in terms of build quality and overall feel, it's no match for the Honeycomb. This throttle quadrant is not only the best value, but I think it's the best throttle quadrant I've ever used. It has incredible value when you consider all of the features and the build quality. It's a large step up from the likes of Logitech, for example. It's gonna take a lot to beat this, unless I ever step up to a more commercial grade throttle. I see this being on my sim rig for a very long time. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the Honeycomb Alpha Yoke Review, as these two make a great pair that will keep you flight simming for years to come.